circuits of physics. I'm Gerald Walker. I'm one of the physics professors at Cleveland State University, and today I'm here with Sean, the owner of the Noble Beast Brewing Company, because I'm going to show Sean one of my collections. Now, normal people collect right, stamps, coins, baseball cards. I collect stains, and I brought some stains here to show Sean. Two of the stains are from your beers. So we'll get to that in just a minute. All right. I got started with coffee stains. I, you know, coffee stains should be boring, but scientists and engineers study the evaporation of thin films, like in the paint industry. When you paint a wall, you don't want the paint to float out to the floor. You don't want it to streak. You want it to dry fairly rapidly. Uh, in fingernail polish, the same stuff. You don't want it to flow and evaporate right away. I got started with coffee stains because I figured that coffee stain would just be a black puddle, you know, and dry it up. Here's one of my first. This is a coffee stain. I spilled some coffee one morning and came back that evening and thought I would just see a uniform dark stain on the plate where I spilled it. But no, look, I see this ring structure on the perimeter. This is coffee with some low-fat milk in there, and it's still got a, a, a nice ring structure there, but this has got more uh, milk in it, and now we're starting to see the perimeter disappear because milk is white. And this is with a coffee cup. You see a, a circle here, but you also see the dark ring on the perimeter of that circle. What causes the dark ring to go to the perimeter and not the interior? You get the evaporation on the perimeter, wherever the coffee liquid gets pinned, and then surface tension will pull more coffee out there. And I can pull it to the outside circle or the inside circle. And wherever the, that is pulled, you're going to get evaporation and the coffee particles are going to be abandoned. And that's what's causing the, the structure right there and over here too. This is a stout. Got a lot of suspended particles, I can tell. The perimeter is quite dark. And Sean, this is two of your beers. The one I'm drinking, you're drinking too. This is going to be the lager on the left. It's kind of hard to see, and I hope it shows up on camera, but you get a dark ring there too. Some of the particles that are in your beer get pulled out by surface tension to the perimeter and then abandoned there. I think a little bit better ring structure there. You can see the, uh, the difference in the thickness as well, and the IPA is a little bit bigger beer, a little bit more malt solids left behind, and exactly residual right. sugars. Right. It's even glossier. Yeah. Uh, here's a mess. It's a soy sauce over here. And it was just too viscous, it had too many particles to flow at all. So, yeah. Is that crystallized? You, you may be right. I see a lot of particles inside, but I don't really see any ring structure. This is a, another beer, and this is a Prosecco. They merge together. I really can't see the difference in the ring structure. They both have ring structure. Though not as regular here along the bottom edge, and that suggests to me that they have some irregular particles in the liquid. This is a wine stain. There is some ring structure, and there are some places where there's no ring structure. And that suggests to me that the wine has a lot of large particles, irregularly shaped particles, maybe ellipsoid. They can stack up on each other and distort the surface tension, the surface, and you even get some fingering off in some places like that. So these are not circular particles like we would see in coffee. Now, if you're really into finger painting or something like that, you want something different. I don't think this has ever been done before. I know we've got drip splashing modern art. This is coffee, and I like it because it's on a curved surface in places. The liquid had to climb up the surface somewhat, and so you get a difference in the ring here. And you can also see that the evaporation occurred at different rates because there's kind of a pattern on the inside. It's interesting how motion is frozen. Yes, in this. Here's one more. It's the same thing, except I accidentally spilled a water drop. And you can see where the water drop hit, and a smaller one over here. The water spread out almost immediately and pushed the coffee particles off to one side. You see another ring there. If you're into modern art, you want something to do on a rainy day or with children, you might design, you know, essentially paintings like this. So this is just part of my collection. I think it's still kind of weird. Thanks for watching, and Sean, thanks for having us here. This has been a great place Absolutely. to come. And I love your beer. Just remember, physics is everywhere, even in common stains. Cheers.